Big Rami, Big Rami, or how do the bodybuilding boys say it? Big Ram me, please. <laughs> On a serious note, I cannot believe that the top bodybuilders in the world, a lifestyle that is completely dependent on what you put in your body, bodybuilding, eat complete crap. Microwaving their food, it's not organic, it's not high quality, no nutrients. We're gonna take a look at the one video that is available with Big Rami's diet. Obviously, this isn't everything he's consuming, but <laughs> from what we can see, how much better could he be eating off camera? Plastic in the microwave. That looks gross. No eat, no eat. I eat my first meal, my potato, and my chicken. Bismillah. To the average person, this might look pretty healthy, but once you develop an in-depth understanding of nutrition, every single thing can be nitpicked into oblivion. Just the tea he's drinking. Tea leaves are grown usually in heavily fluoridated water. They're full of chemicals, herbicides, pesticides. It's basically drinking liver poison, and he added some more spices, which aren't helping, that's for sure. The chicken and potatoes, yeah, they're conventional, probably full of chemicals, pesticides, but even the way he cooked them, they are dried out to begin with, heavily, heavily heated, so it's stressing the body's enzymes, it's not digesting well, it's causing oxidative damage. Then he throws it in the microwave to nuke it even further in plastic, radiating himself, the nutrition out of the food, the endocrine disruptors in the plastic that he's making up for by injecting himself later. Even the smart water, it's just a bunch of chemical laboratory minerals added to water packaged in plastic. This guy's on his phone all day getting exposed to radiation. I'm genuinely curious if these top bodybuilders that look better than anyone ever has, you know, would benefit from implementing these lifestyle changes. Higher quality organic food, prepared properly, better cooking temperatures, natural cooking devices, reducing Wi-Fi in the environment, sleeping in a low Wi-Fi environment. I'm genuinely curious if anyone's implemented that. Microwave again. I mean, who doesn't love listening to 300 music while eating their fish and rice? Uh, we didn't mention the sriracha in the first meal. At best, it's slight liver damage because of the chemicals, you know, the low quality of ingredients that go into it. And you can make a homemade natural alternative that's much, much healthier and not too difficult to do. Fish super heavily polluted. We did a video on that. I don't think anything that comes out of the ocean is really safe to eat right now with the exception of some high quality fish roe and caviars. Uh, the rice, as with anything he eats really, if it's not organic, there's always going to be a chemical concern. You know, what type of water did he cook the rice with? Uh, this was from Jet Fuel, a meal company. And we know in order for these meal companies to make a decent profit, you know, they can't be using organic ingredients and the highest quality stuff. Otherwise, they'd be charging ridiculous, ridiculous amounts per meal. So it was prepped in a kitchen with low quality ingredients. It was overheated to hell. It was frozen, shipped to him, thawed out, reheated in plastic in a microwave. 
you honestly can't get much worse than this guy's food quality. And obviously there's a lot of nuances with the stuff these guys are taking and how that plays into their metabolism. But you know, who knows if, if someone actually followed a high quality bodybuilding diet. Uh, he didn't show any other meals in this video. He had a few shaker bottles here and there. I'm assuming he had a pre-workout. I'm assuming he had a protein powder. But overall, his diet is stressing his body's enzymes. It is not high or significant in vitamins, minerals, or fatty acids. Look, it's not the most inflammatory diet you could be consuming, but it really is devoid of anything besides pure protein and pure carbohydrate energy. That's really all he has in this diet. You can go look at what those golden age bodybuilders were eating. Steak, eggs, milkshakes full of high quality cream. The food quality was much better back then in general across the board. And those guys were much healthier. They looked a lot better and they lived a lot longer. And you could look at what Ronnie Coleman was eating, you know, 15, 20 years ago in videos. And even that compared to what Rami is doing, it's, it's a very drastic decrease in food quality the nutrients that contains in the diet. And I bet if you looked at the lifestyles of these people that have been successful for longer, such as Ronnie Coleman, eight Mr. Olympia titles, you have Marius Pujanowski, who won the world's strongest man five times, I believe, compare their diets, their lifestyles, how they slept, all of those factors to the current athletes. There's some obvious discrepancies that can be made from the Wi-Fi exposure perspective, the food quality, as well as the sleep, which is impacted by the Wi-Fi. So thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully uh, you learned a little bit, but if you guys can please leave a comment down below, drop a like on the video, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And if you do want to support me further, definitely check out frank-stefano.com. Thanks again for joining me, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow's video. Thank you.